Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to design origami inspired animated triangle in PowerPoint. So let's start. Go to new slide, insert tab, shapes, select triangle. Maybe this size is enough. Make no outline and rotate it, flip vertical and bring here go back to insert tab again shapes select this one which is trapezoid just drag the trapezoid maybe rotate and this also say flip vertical make it no outline and I'm going to give some different color Okay, it's here and I can just further reduce it and send to back. This one just bring or you can bring this somewhat down, maybe it's okay. And select both of these or I can just make little bit more smaller select both of the objects go to align make it center just make it center and go to insert again shapes select the triangle once again and draw the triangle as usual make it no outline and give some dark colors here you can just zoom in and Add it here and align it properly. All right, you can see this one and this one, or even you can just press Ctrl D exactly, bring it here, select the triangle and bring to front. Can you see it here? All right, you can see it's like a origami design already now so similarly we'll do the remaining one press ctrl d again i'm just going to increase the size all right so this also i can for this one maybe i can just give a different color maybe this one and send to back bring this down a little bit till here all right and we will do the same thing I'm just going to copy this one by pressing ctrl D and bring it here make it align it properly Same thing, press Ctrl D and add it here. Okay, and again, this one bring to front. This one has gone back actually. Again, I'll this also I'll bring to front. Okay. can see we have added three steps here now the last one again press ctrl D give some different color maybe purple just adjust how much you need this one center back and as usual I'm going to press ctrl D and bring it here zoom it again adjust it 
spend some time to do some alignment here because if alignment is not good uh, the origami uh, this triangle doesn't look good then all right so again i'm just sending this back i can just say send to back press ctrl d and bring this side And again I'll just say send to back all right so if you see here our design is already now so we can just do some recoloring and some shadow effect and then we can add the icons and the text now I'm going to add a whole shape okay can reduce further shape outline and snow outline and right mouse click format shape I'm going to put a gradient fill which I have used this one if you can see here this is two stop I have used one with the black color and transparency both are black color one with transparency 100% another with 0% uh, here you can see this one okay you can do whatever okay and then you can start reducing this one and then you rotate to vertical and just add it here so it looks like that it is uh, Like is coming inside from the, the slide okay all right now I'm just going to uh, add some different colors here again select the object and go to gradient fill and you can select different colors here for example two stops are there this I'm making it transparency to 100% and the color going to go to more colors maybe I'm going to use pink and for this one I'll be using somewhat this color or else I think it's both are the same color let me just change something like this all right so do the same thing for uh, this as well again I'm not going to show you all the colors it's up to you which color you like to uh, see it here and this one all right so it's up to you to decide which color you like to have it on this one and then we can just add I'm not going to type it here I'm just going to copy the text here okay and I'm just this is the first second because there's no space here to keep well, I'm just keeping it outside for the third and fourth and then you can add your text here so text also let me just copy all right you can just put your titles here okay in all the places and uh, once this is done you can just uh, give some uh, what do you say that uh, shadow effect here I'm going to select maybe this one and you can blur it if you like and the same thing goes for the others as well Now you can just change if you like to change the background color you can just change some light color okay all right and then you can start animating the the triangle to animate this one select the object and go to animation tab 
enable the animation pane by default I have the text which I have copied from the, the above slide it's already come here so I'm just going to delete this now add this one select the object first of all in the animation tab select the wipe effect okay this is on click wipe effect from bottom all right so from the bottom it should come up and i'm selecting this two here and again i'm adding the animation which is again the wipe effect so instead of effect from bottom i want that it from top like this and that should happen after previous and this one with previous so if you play this one like this so it's coming the first one then uh, the folding uh, triangles are appearing there so similarly i'm just going to add this one add animation wipe where is wipe here is wipe here this one again it is uh, after previous select both of the folded the black triangles here add animation wipe that should happen or go to effect option or you can double click also you can just go here this is very easy from top and that should happen after previous so let's see here all right so this is the way you can do the animation you can do the animation for the rest of this one so i've just put some different background here if you can see the first triangle the second the third and the fourth so hope uh, friends you have liked uh, this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel osvfx i'll see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye